Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four step circular cycle infographic slide. You can see here, this is uh, step A, where I have added the icon of an idea. And then you can see here, there's a headline and the detailed text. And then the arrow is pointing towards the option B. Again, the same thing, option B, the headline has been given then it points to headline C and headline C is pointing to headline D and again the the same cycle continues. So let's see how to create this circular cycle infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes and select the oval shape and draw the old shape while holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and go to align center align middle and i'm going to give some gray color shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can increase the size a little bit for that you can use a control shift key together and increase the size that's perfect then I'm going to insert shapes, select one more oval shape, just click, you got the oval shape here. Again, if you want to increase the size, you can just hold the shift and the control key together and increase the size a little bit. And shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, maybe you can use some orange color. And I'm going to select this particular, the big circle, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Make it align center, align middle. And I'm just going to give some different color. Select this smaller circle and bring to front. So I'm just going to cut this part. If you see here this part only, I'm going to split this small circle into two. So I'm just going to select this part and I'm going to select this part or first you can do one thing I'm just going to add the outline also for this shape outline I will select maybe this outline then later on we can change so I'm just setting this and the gray circle go to merge shape and you can just do a, a fragment I'm just deleting this unwanted and you can see here this has been splitted into two. So this area I'm going to shape fill make it no fill and this one you can also make it the line or shape outline as no outline or let it be like that then i'm going to select this and this press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate and using the arrow key i'm going to copy it here sorry make sure that it is proper or you can just zoom in and align it properly then press ctrl d or you can alt and right arrow key also you can use it and put it this side and ctrl d alt and the right or the left arrow key bring this side And you have to make sure that this is properly aligned. So this looks good. Now I'll select these smaller circles and I will ungroup it. Group and ungroup it. And you have to give the same color of the outline. Go to format, 
shape outline give the same color and this also will be the same color and here I'm going to give some different outline maybe a, a pink and shape fill also I'll make it pink and this also will be pink it's already pink and then change this color shape fill you can use it maybe green and shape outline also it's green and this also will be green and here for this let me just select blue color outline also blue and this also i will make it blue then i'm going to select this particular circle press ctrl d to duplicate it align center align middle let me just give some a different color to this and using the control and the shift key increase the size maybe this much and send this to back and shape will make it white and select these objects and send this to back also so we got like this shape there now let me just select this circle right mouse click go to format shape i can go to format and fill color i'll make it white it is not visible then you can go to effects shadows under preset select this one which is inner center and you can blur it and make it more transparent and then you can add your uh, text or the icon here so i'm just going to add the text uh, in this uh, circles go to insert text box i'll just say a center align i'm going to use my favorite font which is century gothic if you want you can increase the size make it bold and bring this here if you want you can increase the size a little bit and font to be white press ctrl d and i'm going to put it here which is b Control D make it C and the last is D here so A B C and D and if you have the icons you can just insert the icons here and you can insert some arrows also here so i'm just going to use this arrow line arrow you can uh, use a, a kind of a circular also circular arrow i'm going to just make it and with the bigger one and you can shape outline you can increase the arrow also arrow width so this is one this is done i'm going to use alt so this is my from b to c then this will be from c to d control d and this will be from again d to a i'm going to select all this 
or you can press Ctrl A to select all. Ctrl G because I feel that this size is small. So I'm going to increase the size. Hold the Shift key and increase the size. Align center, align middle and then you can ungroup it. And make sure that you have to do this all grouping, ungrouping before the animation. The moment you group it, all the animations will go. And then you can add your text here. Press Ctrl D. So this is for this text. Ctrl D. Maybe you can place the text here and Ctrl D. You can add your text here. And if you have the icons, add the icons here. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.